going to order. Hopefully we can not be here all night so we can all get home before it gets any foggier and the roads freeze. Um, Jim Hogue is here. You had a public comment? I don't have one unless a certain topic comes up outside of my mouth. I, I was just going to answer. I, every other town, it seems, that's interested in the mandate, they're having a meeting tonight. A mask mandate. The uh, mask mandate. They're, they're, yeah, they're all a... meeting tonight. So I thought, well, maybe there are people who think that that's going to happen here tonight. So I just came in case it did. Okay, no, it's not on the agenda. Okay, no, I didn't. Did, did, you did you bring your mask, Jim? Did I bring it? I brought it, yes. Well, the question is, should, it's not on the agenda, but would you like to, since you're here, you want to make a comment? As long, yeah, as long as it's brief. As long as you're here and it's brief. This is the just, time. I mean, I had, I, I have a, a, a lot in my head that I would answer if people were coming forth, you know, yeah. wanting well, not, to have the but mandate. If you, if you want to I make just, a public comment, that's um, fine. I, I'll switch everything and just say that since everyone in Calus seems to be um, so cooperative about the masks, I would find it a silly thing to, to go forward with since people wear masks in those buildings anyway when, re when requested. And um, I have five, over five pages of documentation in my pocket to show that the they don't work, but that this isn't, I don't think, a good place to get into that, and we don't need to waste the time right. on it. So, anyway, thank you. Okay, thank you for coming. And, and then expressing uh, your comment. I'll keep my guy, my... Keep your eye open. My eye open for the front porch front. The thing on the ninth that has nothing to do with anything. Well, it, well, it has to do with the fire, fire department. department. Just, just the fire, fire department. department. Yeah, okay. just fire department okay. stuff. All right. All right, thank good you. to see you. Glad you're well. Bye-bye, all, all you digital people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. I always knew that John wasn't real. Oh, OK, yeah, he doesn't look real there, does he? Thanks, Jim. So I have a suggestion um, about the process tonight. I would suggest that we look at all the line items except for ones dealing with salary. And I believe salary related to personnel, we could go into executive session at the end of the meeting to have that discussion. Or you want to do that first? No. Okay. Does that work for everyone? All right. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to discuss uh, a real estate matter as well while we're in executive session. Okay. So I'm going to go to... Um, It'll be very brief. Okay. I'm going to go to the budget that is right here. And Mark and I met with Sandra, and we reviewed everything line by line. And there's some things, as you know, that are set. We don't have a lot of control over it such as workers' comp and various assorted dues to different things. Um, so in looking at this, um, legal fees are about, seems to be the right amount of money. In FY21, we did spend 12,915 and only budgeted 10, but we seem to be in pretty good shape so far this year. FY22. Um, the audit amount, we bumped that up a little bit based on um, the contract. Um, website, education, training, copier maintenance, mileage, and miscellaneous. Does anybody have any issues with that first group? Oh, sorry. Is everybody, is everybody good with that group? John, Sharon, Rick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, land records. Digitizing land records. I guess um, that contract ended, 
There are still more to do, but we could use some ARPA money to do that, to, fi to finish up the books. Um, as we all know, the vault is very sh short on space, and Jeremy's been working to make things better. He is suggesting some additional shelving storage for the vault at a cost of $10,000 which would not be eligible under ARPA, we don't believe. Jeremy, did you, I see you're there. Did you have any comment on that line? Jeremy? I have a, I have a, uh, other than, no, I, that's just the cost of a new roller shelf and a new plat map storage. And it's something that we would be pretty much good to go with that for many, many years to come. Okay. Sharon, you um, Sharon? Yeah, yep, yep. So new shelf, new flat <coughs> map storage. Um, and the contract, can we just restate what the contract was for? It was and for it was, it was for, right, it was for digitizing that we did over a period of three years and right. Yeah. Just yeah, Jeremy. For just for the record, for Katie's notes and for the record, what did we accomplish, and where are we leaving off in that process? So for that, I believe that they digitized uh, the entire card catalog. We have um, scanned images from book twenty-three uh, to current. And from 2011 to current, all of those images are also um, indexed in an online index that is, that is uh, comprehensive, where you can find anything that you would um, be looking for that's in the records. But so so that's, have, so, that's my understanding. So we have going backwards, are we up to like 1940 or something with digitizing? Correct. And then it's okay. like, yeah. like 43. Yeah. Okay. And it, go ahead. No, so that means a 40 year search and, and quite a bit in, in addition can be done dig digitally and remotely at this point. Right. A f yeah, 40 year search. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Does that answer your question, Sharon? Uh, yes, it answers my question. It answers my question, but more importantly, Katie, you've captured that for the the public to understand why we're taking a pause, how far we got. I mean, the 40, 40, more than 40 years, substantially more than 40 year important timeline to capture. Right, and we're looking to finish up with that, doing all the land records using ARPA funds. So that could be in the minutes too. Okay. All right, next follows is what the listers have requested for their budget. Um, they have not spent historically the full wages, and we did talk about that. Um, FY22, the wages year to date are 3,070. Um, you know, we could look at, when we get down to the finer points of things, we could look at that if they haven't historically spent that much money maybe we don't need that much money in that line item but that's just a a little note um everything else seems to be about on track there's going to be a lot of training that they're going to have to do i understand that there's going to be some changes in nemric and different areas that they have to get trained on so we i think we want to make sure we have enough money in training um, audit. This is the town audit. This is the one that Nemric does for us monthly. Not to be confused with the professional audit, which is up at the top of this budget at 15.5, I think. Um, town report. Um, elections. Um, 
So I guess I see 500 being new. Jeremy, is that because um, the Secretary of State's office or the state or somebody paid for mailings previously when COVID was in hit? I believe that's uh, to reflect the cost of postage. I think it's just the um, the fact that we have been mailing ballots to everyone. Yeah. And um, it's just an increase. Yeah, and last year, the Secretary of State's office of the state reimbursed us for those mailings because of COVID, but it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing that going forward. I think it's everything. I think it's everything but local elections. So I don't believe that that includes town meeting. Yeah. Are there, now, if that, was a, if that was a reimbursement, that would still show up as an expense, but then turn out we'd have an income side of this, correct? At some, so if, if, so that's, if, if they do that, it's, but there's no guarantee they're going to do that. I'm just wondering why it didn't show up in the previous, you know, it's all blank. Because we didn't. We just didn't record it. Yeah, I, I think we that we didn't. This way. Yeah. And the 1500 we went over. Uh, in our discussion with the treasurer, we went over, you know, that, that number is pretty low. Why is it low? And, and kind of verified that it's a good number. I don't know, Jeremy, if you want to comment on that or, in other words, it's low compared to a couple of years ago, but in terms of the amount of acti election activity, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, when we, when we talked to Sandra, it was based, this 1500 is based on, um, FY23, there would be an election um, in November. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a comment. I, I, we chatted about it and it seemed like a, you know, good to stick a little bit extra money in there just in case. Okay. Was that, am I, am I, so two years ago we had this, this 6,400, right? Mm -hmm. So that was a big election year, correct? So I mean, are we coming into we're coming into a mid season? So that was FY. Uh, a mid. Uh, that was FY twenty one, right? Twenty one, yeah, yeah. That was FY twenty one, and that I think was in part. Um, that was a presidential. Do we have anything school related that we had to pay in that? To... No. Okay, no special costs. Recording in progress. Thank you. Okay, General Office, Nemrick. Um, everybody see that? Mm -hmm. IT disaster recovery. This is RB's work. Um, our cost is seven twenty nine a month, plus three thousand dollars for. If something happens and they have to come out and do something with a computer or whatever, and then I'll let Jeremy speak to this .gov email addresses. Um, that's the big chunk. That's the, that's the big chunk. So .gov, um, this is basically my <laughs> creating um, an account or all the select board members, um, the treasurer, town clerk, the listers, the zoning administrator, Katie, so that we would all have um, an Outlook account. And this, uh, for a number of reasons, including just being able to um, maintain, um, you know, Holland can do some stuff there in terms of um, spam mail, um, the the ability to recover accounts if the, somebody loses an email, you know, if you lose your password right now on Gmail, you're basically out of luck. Um, and that is just, it, it's the cost of having all of those accounts and, um, and the one-time fees to migrate everybody's emails over. The other issue sometimes that comes up in terms of discovery, um, if we if the town is involved in litigation and there's discovery, it's difficult to go into all of the one-off email accounts that everybody has. This way, it's a little more easy and it's a little more centralized. Um, so that's I, I would say that would be my comment for now. 
Well, Sharon has a question. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, Jeremy, um, would we be, if we move to this environment, an Outlook environment, would we be cloud-based, cloud-based um, Outlook? I don't know the answer to that question. But I do know one of the nice functions would be the ability to share schedules. It would link seamlessly with our um, website. So you would have all of those, all of the meetings on the calendar. You could set that up to be displayed um, in your Outlook. Um, there's also team meetings, um, other functions that are helpful. Mm -hmm. So John has a question. So uh, at the risk of being accused of being a Luddite, I used to use Outlook. I know about Outlook. So I imagine then I'd have to have an Outlook license on my computer and there's a cost there. Um, and we all would, and there's a cost there. Gmail is free. We frankly, and this is not necessarily the reason not to change, but we have not had any issues with Gmail in terms of lost passwords, in terms of, you know, no one's done it, performed a records request, but my Gmail and every other select board's Gmail is a dedicated Gmail for select boards. If they want every single thing on that Gmail, they are entitled to it. Have it, everything but my password. Um, I, I see this as an unnecessary expense. I just don't know where this is coming from. And I, frankly, I don't want to go through yet setting up another, we went through this already. We just did this, it seems. It's true. Setting up these Gmail accounts once and for all. There's, we have calendars. They, you know, we I, don't, it doesn't make sense to me. That we, we need, don't, that don't. this is a need expenditure. Um, I think we should learn more about it. John, that's why I asked the cloud-based question. I mean, we're all used to an old world where somebody came around to your computer and put things on it and Outlook has a cloud-based solution. I'm not familiar with it. Um, I don't use it, but that's not, and I don't like it, but that's not a reason not to switch. I didn't want to switch. I don't like e a Gmail either, but you know, we all get over it. Um, they all I, have cloud-based solutions. Right, right, exactly. I think, I think, I think we just need to learn more and, and make an educated decision before we dive into a shift. The one thing I would love is if we didn't get all that junk mail. Um, so a couple, couple things I just want you guys to know. The lights here keep flickering, so we could lose power. And if we do, we're done, basically. <laughs> Unless Rick and Mark and I want to go through the rest of the budget in the, the dark. In the dark. Right. Um, secondly, I already have Outlook. How is this different than the Outlook I already have? You'd use the Outlook. You would use the Outlook you already have. It just would be, you'd have email, you'd have one more email account. Yeah, which I don't really want, one more email account. Thank you very much. Um, I have some questions, and Jeremy, I guess, somebody has to find out answers, because I don't think we can just do this without knowing more. One is, Outlook is a cloud-based system that requires a centralized server. Does this mean the server would be in town hall? And who would maintain it? Is that part of the $3,000 annual or the $3,600 annual cost? Um, the second question is, what happens to all the email? What happens, is there a way to have email that let's say comes to our select board, our current Gmail accounts, redirected to the Outlook account so that we don't have to have yet another account that we look at. Because constituents will email us at the Cala select board yeah. by responding to prior emails. And we don't want a situation where we have yet one more email yeah, account that we have to look at. Right. So that's, that's an absolutely, I think, key transitional question of some importance. Uh, you can check on it, but there isn't, I don't agree that there's a problem with passwords with Gmail. If I you lose your password, then you can request to change it. Um, but I think the other reason maybe to do it, but I don't know this, is our um, 
select board accounts have been fished. I have now received several emails, one of which unfortunately cost me a little money. Uh, I have been received several emails from our August chairperson requesting that I buy her $400 worth of Apple uh, cards. Cards. And you did. And yes. I did in one case. But um, you can usually tell though. When yeah, I know. Now I can you. tell. But right. at any rate, um, is the security any better with .gov than Gmail? And if so, how? A little how? You know, are we going to be any less vulnerable? And finally, is the spam uh, filter with .gov any better than Gmail's, which is customizable and pretty robust? So those, those are at least are the, I agree with Sharon, we need to know more. I don't know if other members of the board have, or the, have questions on this, but I think that we ought to centralize the questions and find out the answers. Yeah, I think we need more answers. I don't know what is driving this. If it's being suggested by somebody in, the, in state government is suggesting or pushing this or VLCT, um, I agree with all the other comments. I don't oh, I really... I forgot one, which is, what are the other towns in can, the vicinity Can I have doing? a clarification? What are the other towns in the vicinity doing? It would mean something to me if we were an outlier going with Gmail and most towns were with .gov or convert the converse. Um, I know Marshfield is converted to .gov. And I, like I said, I don't know what the driving force is for this. It, it, maybe there's some chatter on the town clerk listserv group as to what is pushing for this change. I mean, I, I'm not excited about having to have another email account. Um, as Mark said, if you lose your password, you can ask them for a new one. So I guess, I guess what I'm hearing from the board, Jeremy, is we need more information. And can you get more information and clarification for us? No, I definitely want to know what the reason is. I mean, I find the Gmail just fine, and it's not a, I mean, I don't really care as much what towns around us are doing. I mean, they can still get hold of us through our Gmail account, email addresses, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so I don't know why we would have to have them in our calendar so much. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, to me, it, I use Outlook at work all the time. I use Outlook too. But yeah, me it's too. not. I mean, I what we're doing. I'm is not in simple. love with it. Yeah. I'm not either. Well, it's works. I don't I'm, hate it. it it's yeah, just I mean, it's okay. Yeah. We're a pretty small group. Mm -hmm. You know, we're five people. Right. In the town clerk, you know, so we're not a, you know, several hundred or thousand. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I, I think a thirty-six hundred dollar annual cost is a significant cost for an outfit our size. Yeah. And John had a further comment. <laughs> a question. My question is, this is an additional $300 annual cost. Right, I assume right. that has a lot to do with the licenses. Yeah. Um, uh, and then there's a $3,000 transition cost. I, I just think it's unnecessary. We set up Gmail and it cost us a big egg. It cost us nothing. Yeah. And you know, I, I'm just looking at this RB Tech Let's look back since we started this down this path. Now we're up, we're looking at, we've gone from 12,000 to 18, almost 19,000. Uh, I was upset when RB Tech was at seven. This, is, this seems to be bottomless, you know, I, I'm gonna be right out there and I'd say if Ruben was in the room, you know, I, I hear that their RB Tech's gonna get us a laptop top. They were lucky to have one in stock they're unavailable due to COVID and all this stuff. And so I sniffed around, I could have gotten, I could have bought equivalent or better laptops that day at Staples and at any other, any number of places, including online at Amazon. So I don't know what is going on. RB Tech charges, and I get it, they're a small business, but they charge top dollar for everything. Mm -hmm. And you know, they, they, they have smaller memories in their laptops and we're paying more money. I, I'm just feeling like we're getting we, we're getting hooked on this RB Tech path of getting more and more technology uh, dependent. And uh, you know, um, Cliff and I used to have these debates. Cliff is a techno guy, and he's an advocate for all this stuff. And we would have spent a lot more 
on technology had I not pushed back <laughs> a number of times, including we would already had a Comcast cable run down Moscow Woods Road if I didn't push back. Yeah, um, okay. I, I just think, folks, we need to be measured here. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with Stuff. you. I have lived through all that too. Jeremy, are Jeremy, you okay I, with uh, trying to dig up some answers? Jeremy, do you have anything else? Yeah, to... absolutely. Okay. I, I would be happy. A lot of those questions are of a more technical nature. I am not an IT specialist. I don't know about security. I do know that there's a lot of, there have been towns, uh, U32 recently um, had a some sort of incident where there were um, all sorts of information that was taken. Um, I, I just, I am happy to get back to the board. I think that some of those questions would probably be better answered by Holland, perhaps he's somebody that I've been talking with, um, and I know that you know the cost of technology is is quite expensive. We have our own server for the website. We just purchased a new firewall not too long ago as a right. replacement from the old one. Um, but yeah, I'm I'd be happy to get back to the board on many on all those questions. You know, okay. and I mean, you know, time is of the essence to get. Holland or somebody to give us some answers? Yeah, we, we have to decide, is it in the budget or it's out? And what I think you're hearing is absent some compelling reason, it's out. So um, I think that doesn't mean there isn't a compelling reason, but we need to know it. And I want to refine one of the questions, which is, remember I said, is, is there a server that we maintain is the cost of, if there is, is the cost of that service included in the $3,000 one-time setup, or is it extra above and beyond that? Well, then how is it, is, is select board members fill out, the filler in and out of this too? Is this, do we still get, in, get hit by well, large costs? Well, let's uh, see if- He'll find out. Yeah, Jeremy will find out. Okay. All right. Moving along. Water system, furnace, um, and new cleaning and I think there was um, the idea that you wanted to have somebody clean the town office like every other week or something like that is that correct Jeremy uh, looking yeah once a month oh, once a month it hasn't okay. it, 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 yeah once a month and it's a, a local um, local group 802 clean sweep um, they live over on George Road, and uh, I had Amber come and clean the office. I hadn't been cleaning in a long time. Barbara and I have been cleaning the office, and probably other people too. Um, but she came and did a really nice job, and and um, we're hoping to have her come back. How much does an hour does she charge? Thirty-five, and she 35. estimated that the office took about an hour. Because I've been hearing cleaning people are charging about twenty-five, so thirty-five seems quite a bit more, but. Um, generator maintenance, that's something that we don't have a lot of control over. Um, facilities maintenance. That's the, is that the cleaning? That's, that's the, no, that's facilities maintenance. Oh, what is the, oh, is that's, I believe that, unless we get down to town hall, but I believe that is the stipend we pay to Andy Felice. That sounds right. Yeah. That sounds like familiar. Yeah. Um, do we have a year to date expense on this one? No, we don't. Well, other than two columns back. Right. I mean, he gets paid a stipend, a set stipend every month. So it's the same. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. this is a stipend. Yeah. Telephone, internet, um, additional programming expenses. I don't know that we have a lot of control over telephone and internet. Um, what, well, let's just understand whether we do. This is Jeremy still here, right? Jeremy, what is additional programming expenses? I, I don't know. Do you know where that number came from? Are you are you asking me? Yes, Jeremy, please. Madam Chair. Yes, ma'am. No, uh, no, I don't know where that number came from. I would ask um, Sandra. Which which one? It's number sixty six, telephone and internet. 
It's gone up. It's From going up. Seven fifty to thirty-two forty. And it, it, no it, idea. I guess we'll have to talk to. Yeah, Sandra. we'll have to ask Sandra. We'll Thank ask you. Sandra. Okay, advertising. We know um, that seems like we need to have a little cushion there. You never know. Um, the only ones that are extra really are the first, which class. we talked about. Really, is the security system and the uh, new file file cabinet. Well, let's just take it one at a time. First class postage we know is going up. Supplies are the same. Um, fireproof grant file cabinet. That's because we don't have room in the vault. Is that right, Jeremy? We're looking to have someplace else to store important town paperwork that's fireproof. Uh, my understanding about that one is that there was a call to be uh, to have grant files, which are apparently scattered all over town in different people's um, houses, to have them more centralized, and that right. would be a cabinet specific to that. Yeah, well, and we're working to to make that happen. Now, at Ryzen um, Heat and Electric. Do we think? I mean. Energy prices are really going up. Do we think going from 37 to 4 is enough to cover the increased energy prices? Sandra thought it was. They've yeah. increased 40% in the last few months, so. So it almost, I mean, if I want to put a placeholder there because I'm not sure that that's actually going to be enough. I'm thinking you're right. Probably based on the inflation. I would suggest we increase last year's number by 40%. At this juncture, fifty-one eighty. I was doing that math. That's good. Okay, that Katie, sense. have you got that fifty-one eighty for okay. line item seventy-one heat and electric? Katie. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Software licenses. Now that's interesting that that's going down. All right. Um, town office security, and this is something we've talked about on and off, um, you know, various people that have worked in the town offices have had, have had instances where they've been a little disturbed by somebody who's come into the office, they feel threatened, there's no, and I think John has mentioned this before, like a panic button. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but this is not that security by the looks. This is when this will cover a fire system. Is that right, Jeremy? Is that what you're looking at? This VLCT grant? Yeah, I think. Um, whew, it's getting windy. I getting think. Windy. It, I, I'm not sure if this is the same line item. The one I was um, talking with Sandra about is a passive grant to get a fire system installed at the town office. I don't yeah. know if this is the same I think, line. No, I think this is it. That one, by the way, what's that? This is it? Okay, so this, um, I think it was, the passive grant was supposed to cover half. I talked with um, the one of the supervisors over there. It sounds like the program might change and it might actually cover 100% of the cost um, and I got, I just got a uh, quote back from Seacoast, um, a renew quote. I think, I feel like this has been kicking around for a while. Yeah, I mean, right now we have Seacoast, you know, at the town hall. Um, so this would be somewhat similar to the service here to have at the town office. It'd be exactly the same. Yeah, okay. And hopefully, like completely covered. Say what, Jeremy? And, and hopefully if um, the passive grant, um, if it turns out to be what we, what I was uh, discussing with one of the, um, the folks over there, it sounds like the passive grant could likely cover the entire cost. The, the entire initial cost, but then there's a monthly charge from Seacoast. So that's, I, I'm wondering if that $600 represents what it costs per year is that it does. I think that must be yeah it's too inexpensive it's probably, yeah yeah I think it's probably, that's what it's that's, it's, it's, that's its annual cost yeah, yeah. that's like yeah the, so that's yeah. the that's the fee for that mm -hmm. then 
Okay, Ch education and training. That line item works. Okay, technology reserve fund and office reserve fund. The, and you can see in the column there what the balance is in each of these accounts. And we decided as a board some time ago that we needed to have a technology reserve fund um, to replace servers, computers, you know, those kinds of things. So you can see what the balance is now. So um, I don't know that we really want to reduce that. I think we need to keep that technology fund healthy. So it's essentially like a retirement fund for vehicles. Right, right. It's like, yeah, planning for your next vehicle. Um, the balance in the town office reserve fund, you can see, is at $57,000. Um, I haven't heard much more about doing renovations in the town office. Um, we now have the town hall. Um, so there's a healthy amount in the town office reserve fund. What do... We didn't put any in last year. What do folks think or feel about putting some money in the FY23 budget for the town office? What's the town office worth? The town office, I'm not sure what it's worth. I know the town hall is worth like 1.2 million or yeah. The town else. office is much, much. It's less. Yes, it's, it's, it's quite a bit less, but it's not 57,000. No, but I mean, it's, let's say it was half a million. Probably. If it was half a million, 1% of 500,000 is 5,000. Yeah, that's what we talked about. When we yeah, I mean, about. as a general rule, between 1% and 2% is what you put aside sure for old, any yeah. building that isn't brand new. Mm -hmm. So we could... But we don't have elevators. No. But it's things like a new roof. Uh, uh, painting, right. power washing, you know, those kinds of things. Yeah, um, I would be in favor of putting in something. Well, let me just get to the right page on my hard copy. Um, so, what I'm hearing, it sounds like other folks have thoughts about putting money into the town office reserve fund. 5000 makes sense. Yeah. That's pretty reasonable. I'm good with that. Yeah, that's maybe, one percent. Maybe a little low, but I think it's at least Yeah, it's not. Say. It's not high, but given that it's a one-story structure, it's not, certainly not high. It yeah. Right. Be the low end. Yeah, it's fairly simple. I think about what we do at BGS, and it's higher than that. Is it? Much more. Yeah. 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 Two yeah, percent is industry standard. Different. Yeah. Different there. But two percent is like when there's elevators and stuff like that. That you know these huge right. costs that come mm -hmm. up. Yeah. So FICA, VMERS, health insurance. Um, as you can see, the health insurance actually went down. I wish you were which, facing a big rise in health insurance. I know, I know. I, I that's I know what they've been saying, but 8%. this is not the case. Um, so that's, that's a savings there. Um, these amounts here, taxes, dues, assessments. Denise, it has to do with a health insurance cost is related to how many lives are insured. We had a, a member of the road crew, for instance, that had three children. Mm -hmm. um, so he was on the full family plan. Um, I don't know if we have road crew members on a family plan at all now. Yeah, I don't so, know. So, I mean, that, that is reflected in it that number. That, yeah. but, I think, Sam, but I think what Sandra said was, though, that the premiums are lower. Regardless, you know, just in general, when we talked with her, right? Is that you remember? Yeah, yeah. but we didn't go into it that much. Right. Um, I think we made adjustments to the plan too, so. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have a, you know, we have the HRA, which, um, you know, we're suggesting the same amount as last year. Taxes, dues, assessments. Um, some of those amounts are not yet in. I know that Central Vermont Solid Waste Management is charging a dollar per capita, and they usually, the last time they did it, they based it on the 2020 census, and now they're changing it, basing it on, I forget now what they said they were basing it on. Um, 
Uh, I forget, but we asked, Sanders asked them to give us a firm figure because what they were basing it, what they were planning to base this on wouldn't be determined until sometime in calendar year 2022 and then it's too late because we put the budget to bed for town meeting. Mm -hmm. So we need a firm figure from the district. So that's where that before we Before we go into zoning, I just want to circle back up. I was looking at the notes on health insurance and the notes column specifically says calendar year 22 health insurance premium is lower right for the same plan yeah yeah, yeah. that's what i just alluded to yeah no, no but it's here documented we don't yeah. have to leave with that question hanging yep um okay zoning administrator we had talked and the planning commission has talked about having someone um learn the zoning administrator the learn the zoning administrator job um you know john mccullough is not going to want to do it forever so this is sort of like a zoning administrator in training position we talked about this making making note that they would have to attend all of the same trainings that John does. Do you remember that discussion from oh, yeah. several months ago? <clears throat> so this is the idea that we would pay that person a stipend a month um, with the total amount being 2,400. Thoughts, comments? Okay. I think we've got it highlighted as a, as a salary, so maybe we just need to take the points you raise and, and discuss further in executive session. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's listed as a stipend. Mm -hmm. Meaning not a salary, but some of the others are too that we've skipped. Right. No, we're, the question here is not the amount. It's whether that position is. Merited. Oh, it's just the weather. No, yeah. weather is fine. I'm good with weather. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fire ambulance. Um, that is what it is. I haven't, to my knowledge, Woodbury hasn't submitted anything yet. Um, police patrol, sheriff, East Calais street lights. Is that everybody good with that section? John? Animal control. Hang on, Denise, are those all known numbers? The police patrol, like we can lock this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I would suggest we up the constable stipend, we double it. Um, we don't have constables come January 1, and we're going to start, we're going to need to uh, have some level of enticement like we're thinking everywhere. Um, that's still a joke, $2,000 a year for that awful job. Well, and you remember, it's become awful. And remember last year we paid the health officer a thousand dollars stipend. I would like to consider that again. I mean, getting people to fill some of these volunteer positions is once you know once Wilson steps down at the end of December, we have nobody. Is um, that the, the time that Wilson's dedicated to this matter is? immense yeah it's unbelievable um i had a conversation all over the place so yeah um that's an issue okay is that the is wilson the oh see now there goes zoom right it's seven fifty four. right just yeah this is what i'm noticing um and i don't know if it's a something to do with the weather this time. Um, can you call John? Yeah. 802-229-9870. I could call Sharon and we could put them both on speakerphone. But we... The well, I wonder if they have power. 802-229-9870. You want to log out of Zoom and log back in? Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, God, I'm going to... I'm not getting a signal. I'm just going to log in again. 
No, 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 mire. No, 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 no. I don't think I'm getting any signal here. Can you call? The question is, can I log on here? Because I had no signal at all. So can I log on? Let me try to like. Let me. Let me try on that person. I got grabbed the wrong phone. I think the internet just blinked out. Dallas Town Hall. Okay. Join this network. Okay. What is that noise? Is that you? I'm connected to the internet. You are? I just did that just to see if I... Yeah. I mean, I'll there is call. no... It, Callis Town Hall, it says, no, I'm... Oh, now I'm in. Okay. So, John's telephone number. Hold on. I've got, I'm calling him right now. Okay. That means I've got it on my phone and I've got the signal. You want me to call... Uh, Wait, let's see what's going on. Sandra? Hey, John. John? Yeah, it's me. We, we lost. We lost Zoom. We lost Zoom. I know we're aware. We're, we're talking on Zoom, but I got you on speaker, so hopefully talk loud. Everyone can hear you. Uh, we know you lost Zoom, so you just cancel the meeting. What are we doing here? I don't see how we can, I don't see how we can do this. The only way we can do it is through your computer and going into executive session. Well, you know, we're almost, how about, how about we do this? Um, let's quickly run through the remaining items. Um, I've made a note that John wants to increase constable. I'd like us to consider health officer. Um, Is Sharon hearing you speak yeah. this? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just bring it up. Um, uh, planning commission, they are gonna be having a bunch of work that they need to do. Um, and they've asked for $5,000. It's a complete redo of the plan. Try to condense it. So that things, if you look at the plan now, everything is kind of scattered. So they'd like to have somebody, um, CVRPC for example, help them or do this for them. And I think it makes perfect sense. Right, it's a one-time thing, right. Um, new software that they're gonna need. So that's only, that's just a small bump um, Conservation Commission, um, last year we did 5,000, I don't know, and we didn't think to ask. How much is in the Conservation Fund this year? I don't, I don't know what the answer, how much is in there right now, but we can find out. Uh, I can't, Sharon, what did you say? Well, yeah, and it works just like any of the other funds. We want to have enough in there when we were just talking about the technology and the town office fund. So last year we put in less. Are you? Yep. Yep. Uh, if you could check with Army Tech to see when our servers are uploading. Yeah, we've already, 
Yeah, um, I've already t I've talked to Cliff about this because it happens every Monday that we meet around this time. So we're going to check. So we are going to check into it, John, for sure. Right. And selfishly, I'm on the same line as the clerk's office. And when they start uploading gigabytes of data, my TV goes sideways. And, you know, I requested before they do it after midnight when we're all sleeping and no one's running the thing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to check into it. I'd like, I think they just need to do it at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So if, what, am, I, am I hearing that we want to bump the Conservation Commission fund back up to 8000 or keep it at five? Yeah. Okay, swim program, um, they're not asking for anything different. Town hall maintenance, that's the same amount. Janitorial, um, we, you know, now that the town hall is being used more often, um, we think that it would make sense to have it clean more often. And I don't know if the person that Jeremy's using for the town office would do the town hall as well. Is Jeremy still on that you can ask him? He appears to be. I can, I can reach out to Amber and ask uh, if, if they would be interested. One of the things um, that did come up was that he's actually doing it on the weekend to say, I believe they are scholars or um, residents of the first plan during the week. Um, Yeah, if you could do that, that would be great because I, you know, she could clean both at the same time. The town hall should be fairly easy. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, supplies. Utilities, we did bump that up to 32 from 25, knowing that energy costs are going up and the town hall is getting used more. Hang on. Hang on. Hello? Are you guys still there? It's a third. I'm sorry, I had trouble hearing you. Forty. problem is that we this number was increased not just for increase in cost but increase in use right so the question is do you want to bump it to 4000 okay so tell us I, I had I still didn't I still didn't really hear the amount Sharon had John could you say it one more time Yeah. 
All right, so what I'm hearing then is to increase it to 4,000. Okay. Um, all right, phone, internet, security. Security is Seacoast, which is the same amount. It sounds like they would charge for the town office. Um, town hall reserve fund. I think we need to, you know, we used all the money that was in the reserve fund, remember? So do we want to go in and do 10,000, five or eight? Yeah, I agree. How much? Hotel, I mean, highway, reserve fund. Yeah, eight. Eight? Yeah. Um, okay, but I do have a question. If we're gonna do, if we're gonna do for the town hall reserve fund, like we did the town office reserve fund, the town hall is valued at like 1.2 or 1.5 million. Right. So based yeah. on the 1%. We'd be at 12,000. We'd be at 12,000. Right. So 10,000 is kind of a, a little bit less than the 1%. But it's newly renovated. Doesn't matter. Reserve fund, it's basically you're capitalizing against the future. It's kind of a straight line thing. That's a fallacy. If, if you don't put it in now, you're going to put it in more later. So, um, you know, that's kind of, you can't look at it as just newly renovated. Yeah, we won't spend it right away, but when we start spending, we won't have enough. Right. And what we also what we talked about too is the bottom line is that we're going to have um, line item 172 is going to be paid off, so we won't have that. So that's an overall cost savings of like fifty eight thousand. So if we wanted to look at doing any bumps in any of these line items, now is like the chance to do it. I think we, to, I think we should. Totally I think we should do the twelve. Yeah, I, agree. I mean at twelve the idea. The idea of a fund like this is that if you put the amount in every year. Well, Mark was talking. I know, but it's hard on the hour to do Go ahead. Let it go ahead. Yeah, it's hard on this end too because we can't see you. Go ahead. Okay. I'm the one communicating. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Sharon. Mark. I'm fine. Okay. It's. I, I think we're. It sounds like we're in agreement that this one percent going forward for these kinds of reserve funds, based on the value of the building, makes sense. Yeah. What you can do with this too is is you can actually as a fund <coughs> like this grows because you tend to have it actually can accumulate some money. So it starts generating interest, and you can actually reduce that from the one percent because it really just has to generate what it generates, you know. So mm -hmm. that's something to think about. And then, as you know, when you draw it down again, I mean, you can just flatline it because this is one building, so it's essentially it's not an aggregate. So right. Well, we have the town office too, and the garage. Yeah. Well, um, you can aggregate it. They'll have their own accounts, though, correct? Or is that well? It's it's not like a separate. Savings account. It's it's done through the accounting practices. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, insurance. Um, so these amounts reflect. I didn't. I can't. I can't understand what you're saying. Say it again. I think she wants. I think Sharon is saying to make sure it's published in the in the notes section that this is the established policy. Am I right, Sharon? Yeah. Well, it'll be in the minutes too. Yeah, we should put it in the we should put it in the code budget comment though. Oh, yeah. So, I've got, I, I've, I've made a note of it in my copy, which I will share with Sandra. If that's what you're looking for. Okay, can we move, are you ready to move on? Right. I think we're all in agreement on that. Yeah. We agree. They just have <coughs> hearing problems. I think part of this is it's difficult for you to hear us and us to hear you. Okay. Let's all go right. On. Insurance. All of those are set because the invoices are in. Long term debt. This is where you'll see that the line item 172 and 173 will be paid off this fiscal year. Um, the server loan will be paid off in FY23. Um, you know, I, can I go back for a minute? I have a question. Yeah. Because it didn't occur to me before. What? Which line one? 155 under Town Hall. Yep, broadband. Yeah. Here's my question. As you remember a couple of sessions ago, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. A couple of sessions ago, we authorized the expenditure of up to 35k for uh, an extension to the, town, but office to the town, town office and town hall but what we were told is that did not include connection connecting us right. lighting it and lighting connect, it up lighting it lighting and it connecting, it connecting right. whatever the hell right. lighting means and connecting and my question is is that a fiscal 23 budget matter do we need some money to allow a no. connection to happen. It's, it's my understanding is it's going to happen in FY22. John, is that what your understanding is? I don't remember. I thought yeah. that's why we put extra, I thought we put some extra money. Well, that's why we said not to exceed 35,000 right. for what they're doing. And that's the core. And the my understanding from all the conversations we've had about this from David Healy, Bill Powell, it's going to happen like in the next few months. Yeah. So that okay. is so that Great. is still FY22. Great, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Okay, moving on. All right. Uh, we're not going to do highway tonight. We're going to wait for them to present us with um, the highway budget. So I guess now um, Kellogg Hubbard has asked for us um, an increase in their um, budgeted amounts. I don't see where anybody else has asked for an increase, but we always do the Kellogg Hubbard um, as a separate warrant item anyways, because it always generates such exciting conversation. Um, all right, so I guess now would be the time. Is Katie still on with you guys? Okay. It's so weird that you guys can still be doing the Zoom and we can't. Yeah, I think it's what... It's got, to, it's got to be what's happening with the server being updated. It has to. Right. And it happens every every time. All right. So now it now seems to me would be the time if the board wanted to go into this executive session to discuss personnel matters.
Yep, and we gotta wait for Walter to pack up and leave. To shut it down? Yeah, but we need, let's, well you wanna wait until, you probably wanna wait to shut it off until, I'll make a motion that we go into executive session to discuss personnel matters yeah, per, per um, BSA 3131C or, Katie will have it, it's on the agenda and Katie will have it in the minutes. Is there a second? Second. All those, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Okay, now you can sit down.